not doing great. <laughs> So apologies if I'm not usual in my well, apologies if I'm not my usual energetic self. That's how I'm known. I'm known as the bubbly energetic guy. I'll be fine though. I'm drinking my my bleach to, you know, help kill the bacteria in my body. Just kidding. This is Gatorade. Mixed with bleach. You don't want to drink straight bleach. That's not safe. Just kidding, YouTube. I am not drinking bleach. But I'm not. I'm really not. Anyway, sorry for being sick, but hopefully this video will be sick. Am I right? I'm gonna rank every coaster and give them a review. Every drop and every hill, every launch and every loop. Rate it one to ten and then we'll do it all again. Gonna rank and review every coaster. What's going on everybody? My name is Mario. This is a channel all about amusement park type stuff, but mostly coasters. And today in my never ending journey to rank and review every single coaster I have ever been on, we're going to be talking about fourth dimension coasters. And, and not like the good kind, but like the not as good kind. We're gonna be talking about s and 4D free spins. And real quick, I wanted to say thank you to those of you that are subscribed. It is much to appreciate, much to, it's, I, thank you. To anybody that's not subscribed, though, you better subscribe or else just uh, I can't think of anything today. Subscribe, please. Thank you. And I know with the way I opened this episode, I probably made it seem like I don't care for 40 free spins, but I think these rides are actually really fun. And I think the fact that they have been mass cloned has maybe given them a bad rep over the last few years. But I really do enjoy these coasters. They're lots of fun. Now, I have been on three different 40 free spins. I've been on Batman the Ride at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, Joker at Six Flags Over Texas, and Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. And all 40 free spins are pretty much the same. <coughs> <laughs> All 40 free spins are pretty much the same as far as the layout goes, although there are some minor differences that I will get into later. That being said, I haven't been on any of the newer 40 free spins that do actually have a slightly different, slightly shorter layout, so um, I won't be able to compare those, but yada yada, so what, where am I? I'm so lost. Yes. That being said, each ride on any given 4D free spin is going to be a different experience, and that's one of the first things that I do like about these rides. They never deliver the same ride experience twice, which can be a good thing, but sometimes isn't the best thing. You might have a ride where you flip upside down three, four, five times. You might have a ride where you don't flip upside down at all. So the variation in ride experience does come with some pluses and some minuses. Now to quickly go over the stats of these coasters, they have a height of 120 feet, a speed of 38 miles per hour inversions uh technically none unless you count like the drops as inversions and you technically flip upside down but like you know you can't really count that because it's different every time and the track itself is inverting so we'll just stick with uh they have a track length of 1019 feet and a ride duration of approximately 25 seconds from the end of the lift to the beginning of the final brakes with the ride being a little bit longer if you want to include the lift hill because some of these coasters do actually have fins on the lift hill that do rock you back and forth as you're going up the lift, which does kind of add to the ride experience and make it more interesting than just your typical lift hill. But who cares about stats? Let's talk a little bit more about the ride experience. Now, as I mentioned before, I do really enjoy these rides. The primary purpose of 40 free spins is just to have a wild, out of control, Flippity dippity good time. I'm pretty sure that's how SNS describes these models when they're trying to sell them. They're like, hey yo, Mr. Big Park Man, you wanna buy this coaster? It's a flippity dippity doodah good time. That's definitely what happens. Now the stats definitely indicate that these rides are not very impressive, and that is definitely true for the most part. You know, you're not really traveling that fast. You're not navigating any massive drops. But the one notable feature about this ride that is relatively intense is the the flipping. Right from when you disengage from the lift, you are hitting your first fin that interacts with the train that causes you to flip head over heels. And depending on which side of the train you're sitting on, you're either going to flip forwards or backwards. And this is one of the most intense flips I've ever experienced on a coaster. The first time I rode Batman the Ride at Discovery Kingdom, I was completely caught off guard and just totally in shock 
with how amazing and intense this flipping sensation was. If you guys have been on something like X2, while that provides a much more intense ride experience overall, the actual points at which your seat is rotating is relatively controlled and significantly slower than on 4D free spins. So that was really my only point of comparison before going on a 4D free spin. So to go from a flip that takes about a second, maybe a second and a half from start to finish to a coaster that flips you head over heels in like half a second, that was quite a stark contrast and really caught me off guard. Um, and that's something that I still genuinely look forward to every time that I get the opportunity to ride a 4D free spin. Aside from that, there aren't really any other noteworthy elements. You do go over some bunny hills on that first top layer of track that don't really provide much of an airtime sensation. I guess your stomach may drop a little bit. And again, the highlight of going over any of those hills would be if you do get any more flips. Now, after your first set of bunny hills, you hit your first drop. And I don't know if this drop has an actual name for it. It's I would kind of consider it to be like a raven turn. Um, I don't know if that's what it's actually classified as, but whatever. And these drops actually do provide a considerable amount of forces. Since you are changing directions and dropping so quickly, this does cause your stomach to drop a considerable amount. And not only can these raven turns cause your stomach to drop, but you can get some really interesting variations depending on the way your seat is oriented. For example, my favorite way to experience these drops is when your seat is rotated so that you're facing straight down with your body parallel to the ground. It gives a really cool skydiving sort of sensation. Honestly, not too dissimilar to the first drop of something like X2 where your seat is rotated straight towards the ground as you're plummeting towards it. And another interesting way to navigate these drops is with your head facing towards the ground so that you're perpendicular to the ground. After that drop, you hit the second layer of bunny hills and there aren't as many hills on this layer. So this second layer is a lot more brief than the first, although you are navigating it a little quicker, which I suppose is slightly more exciting. And then you have another raven turn drop. And in between the hills and the raven turn drops where you have your fins that are flipping you, this is where, in my opinion, your ride is either gonna be great or not so great. If you are traveling in the correct direction while hitting the fin that causes you to spin, then you'll get one and a half, maybe even two full flips before going down that raven turn. If you are traveling the wrong way, meaning you're swinging backwards and then the fin tries to make you swing forwards, you're not gonna flip at all, but instead you're just gonna potentially get some whiplash. I've had some bad rides on these free spins where, where you're starting to spin one direction, but the fin wants you to spin the other direction. So the fin kind of just stops you from spinning. It's much more enjoyable to be traveling with the spin instead of against it. If, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Anywho, after that drop, well, the ride's pretty much over. You go up one more little hill. Uh, if your momentum's carrying you the right way, then you might get one last little flip out of it. Usually you don't, but maybe if you're lucky. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, another sort of fun thing. You can actually somewhat influence the way these spin. If you sort of push yourself into or out of an element, you can sort of influence the way that your vehicle moves. What else? These are relatively comfortable rides, like the seats themselves, the harnesses as well. You'd think with how they rest over your collarbones and the fact that they're not like the cushiest material could be slightly uncomfortable, but no, I've never had a particularly uncomfortable ride on one of these, except for when those flips are kind of awkward and go against the way you already started to move. What else? Looking at my notes, looking, looking at my notes. Oh, it's probably pretty obvious by the footage that I've been showing, but uh, these trains do feature vehicles that have seats that face both directions. This doesn't really influence much because no matter what, you are going to be traveling forwards and backwards at some point throughout the ride. Rides on these are so varied that it kind of doesn't really matter. Also, which side you sit on will impact your ride experience. One half of the track has more fins than the other. I don't remember which off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I've ridden one of these. But, you know, if you know the difference, you know, comment down below. Help me out with my own review, please. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the general ride experience of 4D free spins. Really flippy good fun times. Very rewritable since you're going to get a different experience every time. Sometimes awkward if you don't hit the flippy fins in the right way. But now let's go ahead and rate and rank all of these 4D free spins individually. Now all of these coasters are going to get a 7 out of 10. They 
are very fun rides, but they are way too short. Now to rank them on my overall list of coasters, let's start with Batman the Ride at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Out of the 229 coasters I've been on, Batman sits at number 90. It's my favorite of the 340 free spins I've been on, primarily just because of the fins on the lift hill that rock you back and forth. Although I suppose that's not the only thing it has going for it, because the view that you get going up the lift hill is really great as well, with that nice little lake between the park and the parking lot. Next up is my least favorite, which is Joker at Six Flags Over Texas, sitting at number 92 out of 229. Joker wasn't a particularly bad ride, and I did only get one ride on it, so I can't judge it fully, but it does sit in the rather lackluster Gotham City section of Six Flags Over Texas, which has almost no charm or ambiance whatsoever. It is just pavement and concrete, and the actual ride experience itself was one of my least favorite rides on 40 free spins, which I just chalk up to one bad experience. But nonetheless, it's at the bottom of my 40 free spin list. And last but not least is Batman at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. This ride has a great environment, as does every ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. And this one's actually particularly unique as it was the first of these models models ever built, and unlike all the other models, you load into these trains in a seated position, and then a hydraulic system tilts your seats into almost a lying down position before your train is dispatched. Just a little fun fact, I guess. Oh, and it's at 91, in case I didn't mention that. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and actually end this video now because I've talked about these free spins for way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think of 4D free spins. I'd love to know how many you've been on, which ones you think are the best. If you liked the video, please give it a, th give it a hit the button that looks like this, please. And <laughs> make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And make sure to tune in next time where we're gonna be talking about whatever this wheel lands on.